morning guys. I hope you're having a fabulous Monday morning. I am currently, well I'm wandering around the house at the moment. I was gonna go upstairs and get dressed and then I realized I actually have a little bit of work to do this morning. So I'm going to stay down here and edit, downstairs in the living room, get my work done for the day and then I'm going out for lunch with one of the girls and then I'm meeting John afterwards. I'm going over to the apartment. I did such good work on Saturday guys, you'd be so proud of me. I painted the entire bedroom all by myself because John was doing stuff with electricity and other bits and bobs around the house, stuff that I couldn't really be doing and lifting big heavy things so instead I did the painting and I painted the entire room and I'm so proud and even when I left John was like oh my god you did such a good job I was like I know I know right we got there at about I'd say half 11 on Saturday morning and we didn't end up leaving until around half nine on Saturday night and we had a, a Domino's we brought it into the into the apartment into the bedroom where I'd painted and we sat in our dominoes and I just admired my all my handiwork really to be honest I was very 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 proud of myself so that was all we did on Saturday and then yesterday I had a mahoose of migraine. I'm not sure if it was from the paint fumes or just it was hormonal or whatever but I literally could barely move. Actually do you know what I need to go and sit down on the couch because I, I, you know, I'm just standing here holding a camera. It'd be much more efficient if I sat down. Yesterday was not good. The headache was horrific. Like I get headaches all the time. Like I've suffered from them. I've been to like head specialists. I've spoke to like the head specialist in Beaumont and it's all due to like hormones and genetics and whatever and it's just a way of life for me at the moment or like has been since I was about I'd say about 13 or 14 but yesterday was the worst I woke up like John went for a run in the morning and when he came back he was like you're still out of bed and he was like you're all right and I was like no I don't feel good at all and he was like come on I'll make you breakfast you'll be fine I had breakfast and and then I had tea because I couldn't even drink coffee the smell of it was like Ugh. and lay down on the couch all day and I just did not move so he brought me in home around six o'clock so he was picking up his mum from the airport and he just dropped me home on the way to the airport I just died on the couch and I went to bed at half seven and then I woke up this morning and my head still hurts. Like it's still sore, but I don't have the migraine anymore. I know you guys don't care. I'm like rambling on about like my pains and you're kind of like, whatever, fill us in and other stuff. I was also very emotional yesterday as well. So I was looking at like YouTube comments and I was getting real emotional and like upset and I was crying and John was like, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? And I was like, I don't know. So I don't know what was wrong with me. We ended up watching a movie on the couch then and I just couldn't bear to even watch it. I couldn't even keep my eyes open. So I was in bed very early last night. I woke up this morning feeling much better, but I still kind of have like that tingling headache sensation. It's horrible. I hate it. Ugh. Not as bad as yesterday though. Yeah, and I was like reading YouTube comments, like I said, they were kind of upsetting me and stuff. It was like, I don't even know why they were upsetting me because to be honest, if I read them today, they wouldn't upset me. I was just a total emotional roller coaster yesterday. But there were just all them comments on my newest video about Cafon D and her vaccination. And I don't care if she's anti-vax. I do not care. Imagine that. I don't care what other people want to do in their life. I just don't want to support her brand because I don't want to have to deal with people giving out in comment sections about whether her decisions are right or wrong. Because if she wants to vaccinate her kids, that's her decision. If she doesn't, that's also her decision. As irresponsible as I think it is. At the end of the day, I just don't want to include her brand on my channel because I don't want war to be starting on my channel. That is basically the reason. Her decisions also don't reflect how I feel and lots of people are going on about her being anti-Semitic and I don't know anything about that. I really don't. The only thing I know is that she is anti-vaccinations. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want a political arguments to start my comment section. So that is why I wasn't including it. Then people were like, you need to educate yourself on not vaccinating children and being on the anti-vax, you know, movement. And it's much better and stuff like this. I was like, guys, I don't need to watch, like people are recommending I watch a movie called Vaxxed. But not to be rude guys, but I went to university for four years. And I studied in nutrition, so I have a Bachelor of Science. I also spent years in microbiology labs, and I also had to do research papers on vaccination and the origins of them, where they came about, talking in depth about how they're made, you know, pros and cons of them. I had to look at peer reviewed journals, I had to look at PubMed, Science Direct, I had to read 
hundreds of journals on the topic. Then I went on and did two other courses along the lines of nutrition and science. And again, same things popped up. I had to talk, look about vaccinations and, you know, things like that. I don't need to watch a two hour movie. I've spent six years studying stuff like this, guys. I know that some people out there may have watched a documentary for two hours or whatever it is and been convinced not to vaccinate their children and that's their own decision. I have studied for six years, looked into the pros and cons of it. I know all the cons, I know all the pros, I understand it. It's still my decision at the end of the day whether I want to feature Kat Von D's makeup on my channel. That's what we're talking about, bottom line. And I don't, because I don't want arguments starting in my comment section. So again, if you don't like that I don't feature Kat Von D, then move on and don't watch my videos, because that's just the way it is. The other thing is people were giving out about the Norvina palette, and I didn't want to buy that, and they thought I was bashing ABH, and I'm just like, what is wrong with the world? I don't want to buy the Norvina palette. I don't have to spend 42 euro or 45 euro or whatever it is on a palette if I don't want to because I don't like it that much. I don't understand. It's just makeup. People were going ham in my comment section over the fact I don't... I actually had to block people on that video. I haven't blocked anybody in weeks on my channel. Like weeks because it just doesn't happen. And I had to block people on my channel from fighting with one another and talking about ABH and how I should buy it and I'm and I disagree with your decision not to buy it. No guys, I don't have to spend 45 euro on an eyeshadow palette if I don't want to. I don't like all the colours, therefore I'm not buying it. I watched Stephanie Nicole's review, I watched um Samantha Ravendall and I watched Kiki Beauty. I think her name is Kylie is her name but uh, that's her channel and all of them said that they weren't you know they didn't like it they thought that it was a great palette but they just didn't like the colors and they didn't like the way it performed and I felt exactly the same looking at their videos and that's why I'm not buying it I don't understand what the issue is that I don't want to buy an eyeshadow palette I don't get it I don't get the world by times I really don't so between ABH and Kat Von D and my migraine yesterday I was just spent and I just had enough and I was like I'm going to bed early I just like I have enough of the day and I am glad I'm not featuring Kat Von D on my channel anymore if that's the response that I have from saying I'm not going to feature them imagine featuring and using the makeup products the war that would start I just I just can't be dealing with it because it's just not good same with Anastasia Beverly Hills like it's kind of made me feel like why do I have to like all of the palettes I don't know I don't understand so basically that's my little rant for this morning and I just kind of felt like filling us in on that. Currently I'm watching Sex and the City and I'm editing and I'm very happy this morning so there's nothing that could tear me down at all. No migraines, no comments. I'm in amazing form. So I'm gonna get back to work and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Guys, I don't know if any of you follow Carissa Pukas. I absolutely love her. I've watched her for probably about six years, maybe seven years. I think I've watched her since nearly the beginning of her channel. But she put this video up yesterday and it's the truth about her breast implants. It was an absolute epic watch, guys. Very interesting, really intriguing. And if any of you guys are interested in this topic, or even if you're not and you just kind of want to listen to Carissa talk about her journey, then I definitely recommend watching this. I was glued to it. It's a 44 minute video, but I was actually so intrigued by everything she'd been through and I couldn't stop watching. I think she spoke so articulately. She had all her facts and she had all her information and I just thought it was an amazing, amazing video. Definitely check out Chris's channel if you're not already subscribed to her. That's her channel there and she is amazing and I just think the way she told her story was fabulous. It just made me admire her even more. I mean, I've loved her channel for so long but I just thought that this video was amazing. Hey guys, so I am ready to go. I'm just finishing a beauty video and just scheduling it to go up today so hopefully all goes well. I still haven't got the thumbnail fully edited but I think I should have time after I meet John to do that. So I'm gonna go meet one of the girls now for lunch. I'm so excited. And then go see John in the apartment. And then we're going for a drive because he wants to show me something, he said. He was like very vague on the phone. He was like, I wanna bring you somewhere. I have to show you something. So I was like, okay, right, we'll do that. So, so I gotta lock up the house now, get myself into the car, go get Diesel. I just finished, like I said, doing my makeup. I'm wearing the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation today. I don't know how I feel about it. This is the first time I've actually worn it since I came home from China, believe it or not. So it's been a hot minute since I've worn it. And I don't know, we'll see how the wear of it goes today. And I'm wearing Inglot all on my lips. So I'm wearing the 63 lip liner, the lipstick in champagne, and then Goldie lips on top. 
and then I'm wearing the Jaclyn Hill palette all over my eye and then I'm wearing Morphe lashes and I don't know what's in my waterline. Look at me here. What is in my waterline? <laughs> That's the weirdest face I've ever seen. MAC Teddy liner and then I'm using the Ferocious Brows through my brows. I don't think that's that's all you need to know. Oh yeah, I'm wearing Morphe Blogger Contour, the blush, the trio, oh, I don't have it here, and then the highlighter in Spark. So that's what I'm wearing on my face today. Just if you're wondering, nothing too extravagant. I did my makeup in literally five minutes and I feel like my face is lighter than my body, but oh well. After getting really, really nippy out, like I mean freezing, and I didn't think of bringing a jacket, so I'm after having to run back into the house to get my denim jacket there's no point in putting that on now because it's warm in the car but oh my god the seasons are really changing like i can really feel autumn in the air and i just feel like a little bit nippier and you need a jacket it's not as warm as it was throughout the summer 10 miles i have in my diesel tank that is just fantastic oh <laughs> please please get me to the film station please dear god so last i was talking to you guys on friday i was talking about the fact that john and i are going to the southern hemisphere and we still haven't picked a country to go for my birthday for new year's so I think the more we're discussing it, we're thinking more along the lines of going to New Zealand and then going to Australia. I think that's the story. I have a lot of family in Australia and he has family there as well as brothers out there. So perhaps Australia could be, I don't know, we're still kind of indecisive. So we're thinking one of those two countries, Australia or New Zealand. How fun will that be to ring in the new year in Australia or New Zealand? I'm so excited and living for it. And I really want the apartment done and stuff before we go uh, I, so I think that should be done by next month even the month after so everything is really exciting at the moment I'm just so happy at the moment lots of things are falling into place and it's just ugh. and lots of people are saying in my comment section oh you seem so much happier than you've ever been before guys I swear I have never been this happy in all of my life the last time I remember being so 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 happy like this was the last year that I was just in like the happiest place ever was the year I repeated my leave insert and I just remember how fun my leave insert repeat year was it was amazing I met so many people in my repeat year I got to, because we were in a mixed school I got to meet different guys and different girls from different schools as well and it was just the best one and I just remember how happy I was that year when I repeated my leave insert so I think that was the last time I remember I know that sounds crazy like I'm sure there was loads of years that I remember being this happy but like definitely that's a standout year for me when I repeated my leave insert I just had like the best year ever and I feel like this year has been like that as well I've traveled I've gotten a new wonderful amazing boyfriend my family's health is really good everybody's like in amazing and form everybody is making plans and I don't know I just feel like everything's just coming together and just everything's really really good like my nanny's in good health and my granddad and everything like that is just it's super good like I haven't had like I've had a really good year a really good run for the last few months I'd say since March onwards it's been pretty epic since I went to Vietnam really it's just been amazing Vietnam was like one of the best things I ever did and I feel so positive and content in saying that traveling is one of the best things that I've ever done it just really opens your mind and just makes you feel like there is a different world out there and takes you out of your little box that you're in because I know like when you're living in Ireland like Ireland is, is the most amazing country I don't think I've ever been to a country I love as much as Ireland but it's nice to see different cultures and see different ways of living and different people and different things and you know different food and experience different aspects of life and I think that's what traveling did for me and just made me be like a completely different new person and a much happier well-rounded person right I'm at the filling station let's fill up the diesel tank well hello guys I'm back in the car trying to back out <laughs> I just met Neve there for a coffee she had tea and now I'm going to John Ooh around here I'm gonna go to John at the apartment and see how he's getting along and yeah that's basically it 
I had a lovely catch up with Neve. I haven't seen her in forever. It's literally been forever. So it's just lovely to sit down, have coffee, and just catch up with her. And I missed her so much. So you know, like when you haven't spoken to friends in ages, and you just have a catch up. It's just so lovely to see each other. So we're like, we can't leave it this long. The next time we'll meet up in a week or two or whatever. I must call out to her in her house, or we'll go for dinner or something with the boys. Her, she can bring her husband. I'll introduce her to John. That's why I always say to people like your friends are the most important thing ever like when you go through struggles in life and stuff your friends and your family are there for you no matter what and that's when you know like you have true good friends and like even when I was going through crap times like Neve was texting me and writing to me and stuff and it was just nice that she wanted to meet up and see how I was keeping and same with today like that we met up finally oh my god oh maybe they're testing for fire I'm just at the fire like, like fire station and they have they must be doing like drills or something because they have set fire to the fire building itself so maybe they're doing like practices or something I know that was a bit weird because it's just kind of unusual to see flames coming out of a building but it's right beside the fire station so I'm presuming that's what they're at so yeah it's just really nice to catch up with your friends and like I always say try not to lose touch with friends and, and if friends are going through you know tough times reach out to them or if you're going through tough times don't forget to you know tell your friends and it's good to have them and they're really important in your life like friends are actually so vital to your life and to everything that you do in life because they're just there for you no matter what and they never have judgment and they never ever make you know make you feel like what you're doing is wrong and they just give advice and stuff and I'm just really lucky actually speaking of friends I need to ring Damien because he has an assignment due tomorrow and I just want to see how he's getting on with it because I said it would help him with the assignment and now I haven't been in touch with him. I actually must ring him. Actually, this second I'm gonna ring him while I'm in the car, Bluetooth the, through the radio because I, I need to see how he's keeping. Sorry guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. Hey my little, sorry, I haven't checked in with you guys all day. Oh, I'm bloody exhausted. I spent the evening with John. I was over in the apartment first. Oops, oh we had to go to the dump and stuff. We had to bring like, things out of the apartment that needed to be dumped exciting and then John came over to my house and we had lasagna and finished watching a movie that we were watching for like the last ages I think this is like our fourth attempt to watch it so we finally finished it uh, yeah where are you? I'm in my room yeah actually yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do what that. Yeah, just vlogging, vlogging. <laughs> just talking to Ollie there. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically all. Now I'm going to spend a little time with the sister. John and I went and looked at carpet samples and lino samples and tile samples. And that's what I was helping him with this evening because obviously he's going to be doing like carpets and stuff in his apartment so that's what I helped him out with this evening and he has a stove that he bought so he's gone out to his home house now to put the stove in the boot of his car to bring into the apartment tomorrow and I'm going to go in tomorrow and help paint again a little bit more but I have work obviously to do tomorrow and I just kind of want to get all my work out of the way and then I will go and assist him and help out. Oh look, my nose, I've no foundation left in my nose or a foundation on my mouth. That's what happens when you kiss your boyfriend too much. <laughs> it like all rubs off. Oh my god, totally DMI. Anyway, I'm going to spend a little bit of time with Ollie and then I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. I think today's vlog is long enough. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually want to take my eyelashes off. Oh my god, the best part of the whole day is taking your eyelashes off. I wish I did it hours ago. <laughs> okay guys, I will talk to you all tomorrow. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And yeah, I hope you're all happy and healthy and keeping well. And I love you all so much. Mwah. Bye.